continue on YouTube here with you on this uh, Thursday afternoon. I uh, got my car done. You've seen the pictures of that, I think. I posted the video. Um, so I'm off to have more fun doing fun stuff. And that's what I'm going to be doing. And we're going to start on this uh, robot tracking smart car. And we're going to show you a little bit about, uh, I went ahead and hooked my printer up so I'd have these printed instructions. Uh, they're much better to work with than uh, uh, transferring to my phone. I can do it on the phone, but it's it's just a lot easier to have a nice printed copy. So I've got that now, and uh, so we're going to look over the first few pages of it. And I'm going to switch over here to this view. Now this uh, first page basically just describes what it is. Introduction. Um, second page is just a schematic of the uh, device. And third page is component listings. Uh, all the parts that we have. And fourth page is uh, identification of the, uh, the parts and we're going to go over that or I'm not on, on video I won't do this on video I'm going to do without on not on video and make sure everything's there first once I do that I'll either come back and report that some, something's missing or we'll go on with the uh, next first steps or um, initial steps whatever you want to call it so it gets down to this part right here and that's where we start so let me uh, make sure everything is here and we'll come back Hey, right, back after the uh, parts check. It part checked out just fine. Everything is there and present and accounted for. So, what we're going to do here next is begin with the first step, which is install circuit. 1.1 uh, is install metal film. Install metal film resistor. Dip 8P IC socket self-locking switch, potentiometer S8550, electrolytic capacitor, um, 5 millimeter red, and on PC board, according to mark on PC board. Pay attention to the direction of the IC socket, wrong direction of installation as pictured. Um, so I'm not really sure <laughs> what that means. Um, well, okay, on the next page we see the wrong direction. Uh, I'm guessing there's a difference uh, how that goes, so let's see if we can look at the uh, board here. Tell anything. Well, there, there's the, uh, the uh, notch, so I'm sure that's the way we're supposed to install it, I would think. Maybe not. Maybe there was a mistake at the uh, on the silk screening. So let's check it out. See what we got here. I think we're going to go ahead and install it like it should be. And if nothing, you know, if it works, it works. If it don't, then we can just turn the IC around. <laughs> That's a pretty good indication of how we should do this, I think. All right, let me turn this off, and we'll bring you back in just a minute after I get complete that first step. Hey, we got this far. I have the uh, did the first. <laughs> believe it or not, the first step is pretty much the whole installation. Uh, I did do the uh, next step, which was uh, install this bolt, and I guess this is a caster. Supposedly, it's a cap nut, but got that installed, and then I went ahead and put the photoresistor and the uh, LEDs in for the uh, bottom side. I think I got it pretty much where they wanted. They said five millimeter. I measured that with my uh, tape measure. It measured about five millimeters, so I'm hoping that's about to where they're supposed to be. I think they're adjustable a little bit, but not not a lot. But uh, like I say, now I've run into a problem. This step here. Um, this is the uh, battery. First off, I want to show you the uh, <laughs> spring placement is backwards on this because there's no way you can you can match that uh, at all so anyway that's not a big deal though um, 
the problem I see is uh, there's only one wire on here and I don't know if it was lost in chipping or what but uh, there's supposed to be two because they're supposed to wrap around the back side and come in here where the uh, plus and minus is marked right there on the board so all right well, I have the uh, battery hooked up and uh, the test here is to us uh, three discs together install two pieces AA battery did that press the on switch if two pieces of white LED on installation is successful please check the welding uh, please check the welding pay attention to the direction of the LED and other components uncheck suedo pseudo <laughs> soldering all right uh, if 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 the let's see the installation is successful if LED off so press the switch LED on the installation is successful if LED off please check welding okay here's the deal now I would have thought it's my thought about this that when you press the switch down that is on but if you press it that way it seems to be on now if I press it again it goes off so I'm gonna consider that a success because the fact that you can switch it on and off obviously it works so it's just a, I don't know which is which on this switch that looks to me like that should be off and that should be on but you know again I don't know uh, how it's really supposed to be so the best I can do is what it says, so that's that's what I'm going with. So it says next to install the four gaskets on the circuit board. The role of the gasket is to increase the gap between the axle and the circuit board, so that the gear mounted on the shaft has enough rotational space. All right, back once more. Have all four of those installed. You can see. I think you can see. One, two, three, four right there and uh, those are uh, ready for the next step which is I believe taking the uh, putting those insert the steel shaft from the center hole of the wheel from the center hole of the wheel well hmm insert a steel shaft from the center hole of the wheel okay now this would be the wheel and this would be the shaft. Now I don't know about you all, but I don't think that fits very well. In fact, it doesn't fit at all. Maybe it's supposed to be tight like that. I don't know. You seeing that? Okay. Put a three-way sleeve into the steel shaft. Then a gasket into the steel shaft. Right, back one more time I have the uh, wheels on now and I think I have them lined up the way they requested they both spin nice and free as they're supposed to this one doesn't spin quite as good as this one does but it's free I don't know it might be a little bit of a because it's laying down on it but uh, in other words I think it put over there it springs it spins even freely or whatever anyway I think that's what we need to do is just exactly like that and that should do that I believe the rest of this is mechanical so you can see there's your uh, sleeve right there there's your your uh, another sleeve or whatever you want to call it on this side and the rest of it is just like I say down here And that's exactly what it looks like. Now we've turned the picture around again. Okay. But that's what it looks like. And I think we're pretty good from there. Install, insert a worm onto the motor shaft. Then thought worm from the front of the circuit board to others. Uh, use two small screws to hold the motor. Pay attention to the direction of the motor contact motor and PCB by cable alright so 
these are the uh, motors looks to me like they're sitting like this so that uh, uh, the contacts for the uh, motor control or wires are on this side I do believe that's what that is so let me uh, turn you off and I'll see if I can get that gun done and we'll go from there alright there we can see the uh, illustration these are the two motors right here and uh, you look carefully at this that's where they are and you can see the both of the uh, terminals for the motor are exposed there where they're supposed to be and the next step or final step I should say maybe is the uh, installation of the uh, wiring and I think they go right there and right there pretty darn sure anyway so those will be soldered on this side I think those should have been soldered before I guess I can get them in there it's not a big deal but you know I think I've got these pretty even this one's down a little bit further than that one so I can I can take and move that down a little bit if I need to I think there we go I think that'll do it alright I have it uh, together it does move it does not do what it's supposed to do though so here let me show you what it does So, got something wrong. Not sure what. Uh, that will be round two. <laughs> um, don't know why exactly. Um, I didn't really see anything. Uh, it does work though. Like I said, you can turn it on. It rolls. Now, I don't know that it's supposed to go. I guess it is. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking maybe these uh, potentiometers have something to do with something. Uh, obviously they're there for a reason to adjust so like I said it uh, it does not follow the track like it's supposed to um, I don't know uh, what else to do on camera this evening I'm gonna take a break and see if I can find some video on uh, what might the, might the problem be I just imagine it's just a matter of adjustment because it does work and I, I didn't really you know put anything in wrong that I could tell now this chip and I don't know if I can point this out or not but I'm gonna try it does go in backwards so uh, I didn't reverse the um, uh, socket because there's no sense in that I just seen the uh, notch goes down here so once you put it in that way it's the same thing even if you, you know, the sockets in backwards so and obviously the silk screen is wrong so um, like I said it does work it doesn't work like it should but you know maybe I can figure it out I don't know I'm not crazy about the wires where the wires fit but they don't have anything to do with it this another thing could be this uh, I may have these in too, well, too high. Uh, I noticed on the, uh, it, it tells you to put them five millimeters down from the top of the cap nut. And I think these are five millimeter close to it. But I think those are up a little high. So I'm, I may have to move those down, but that's not a problem. Just heat them up and push them down. That's all you got to do. So I will uh, do some, uh, well, you know some troubleshooting and see what we can find out so that's about going to do it for this uh, video um, I was going to add some pictures of the car for Bill I don't know that I'm going to yet I haven't decided I guess I could go back outside and take a couple pictures with a camera with a phone uh, or even maybe just a, a short video so let me do that and uh, I'll add that to this video and then uh, I'll call it quits so stay tuned for that hey Bill you can see up on top 
how the paint's peeling. I hope you can see that anyway. I'll, maybe I'll take it from the other side. Might be able to see it a little bit better from the other side. I don't know. Of course, you've seen the hood. Now, the sides, that doesn't seem to happen to the sides. This did down here a little bit. It goes around through there, as you can see. And up the side of this. That's all flaking off. So, and there's another look at the top. And the back end of the trunk is also flaking off. So, yeah, it's a, a lot worse than you would think. So, I, I say the hood kind of matches the rest of the car now. And uh, I guess that's not a bad thing. Same thing on the center over here, just the top section. Now, the uh, upright doesn't uh, seem to be too bad. Again, the sides, they look fine. So, that's the way it looks. Take another picture of the top from this side, maybe you can see better. It's pretty well flaking off. Now, I have been told that you can take and spray clear coat over the top of this and it will look all right. I don't see how you can do that without taking the old off, but that's just what I heard. So, like I said, there's your proof that of what I was talking about. And again, the hood. It's probably the worst of it, but the top and the back will be just as bad here for long. So. Alright, going to add this to the other video, and we'll talk at you later. Alright, now you've seen the uh, video of outside on the car for Bill. Uh, you see the places that are not in such great shape on the uh, rest of the car, mostly on the top areas like on the top itself, the trunk, the top of the trunk, and of course the hood now. Uh, the hood wasn't that bad when I wrecked it or when I hit the deer, but it was getting that way pretty quick. So, um, like I said, Bill, it's, a, it's worse than it looks, so I guess, on camera. But uh, anyway, I hope that explains the situation to you. And uh, that's going to do it from here this evening. Um, going to work on that... Uh, kit some more and see if I can figure out maybe what the problem is. Maybe there's some videos online of other people's had the problems with it. And we'll hope that's the case and uh, that way it'd be easier to troubleshoot. So, alright, gonna do it. That's gonna do it. Uh, you guys have a wonderful evening. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you. Back home, folks.